and appears, pulls down the blind, locks the door and leaves that world behind. With a fine sigh Promptly at the stroke of nine The man appears, rolls up the blinds Stop the whole thing over one time And then the world La 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 you foolish bird. Well, I should have known better than making a cuckoo clock with a cuckoo bird that doesn't know how to count. Oh, silly bird. You must learn your numbers. Yes, of course. Ah, let me see. Ah, da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Figaro. Figaro. Where is that foolish cat? When I want that cat, I can never find him. Heaven knows where he may be now. Oh, I better close the door. Oh, yes. I want no more customers. No more. We're finished for the day. It's time to eat. <coughs> ah. Aha. Closed. Thank you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing there? All well, the customers have left and you... and you stayed behind and... What are you doing? Like you can tell Geppetto. I can spare a few minutes. Tell me. Go on, tell me. I've run away from home. No! Yes, I did. No! Yes, I did, I did. You couldn't have done that. I did, and I can prove it. Just go to my house and see if I'm there. All right, I... I of course you're not there. You're here. Why? Why would such a bright-looking child like you do such a foolish thing like that? Like, like running away from home? I had my reasons. You had reasons? You had reasons to run away from home? Don't you know that be it, be it ever, ever is so, so humble, humble there's after, after no home. place like home? Well, something like that. My parents don't want me anymore. No. No, don't. What makes you say something like that? That, 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 that? that couldn't be true. It is. Otherwise, how come they're never at home when I come home from school? And how come they're always too busy or too tired to talk to me? Mm-hmm. I think I'm beginning to see what's wrong. You feel neglected, right? Yes. I thought so. Both your parents are working? Uh huh. So you feel lonely at home, and you decided to run away, and you ran away to a toy store. But why not? A toy store is as good a place as to run away as any other place. Now that I think about it, it's a better place than most. Yes. In fact, I think that a toy store is the only place to run away to. You do? Yes. 
You know, I think you're lucky. Yes, you're lucky you came to Geppetto shop. It is? You know why? Because I think maybe I've got just what you need. <laughs> I'll show you. Don't move. Sit there. Sit there. Sit there. <laughs> uh, 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 look what I've got for you. Oh, it's just a puppet. Oh, just a puppet? It's not just a puppet. It's a friendly puppet. <laughs> Friend? Yes, everybody needs a friend. Hold it. Be what careful. Happen? Be careful. Uh, uh. Trust in Geppetto. You've got a lot to learn. <laughs> lonely. Ha! Do I know something about lonely? Do I know? I must have written the book. Ha! Have you ever heard the name of Pinocchio? Ha! Ha! That was my boy. Yes. I created him. I made him. Well, I, I raised him since, since he was just the size of a clothespin. And what does he do? He goes out into the world. He makes a name for himself by singing and dancing. <laughs> and somebody writes a book about him, and he becomes famous. But do you think he would find time to drop me a letter? No. Old Geppetto can be sitting here making puppets till his fingers would be thin like toothpicks. But he, <laughs> that cute little wooden head, would even send me a postal card. So what do I do? Eh? Do I cry? No, no, no. I work in my, in my shop whenever I want to have company. I just put my imagination to work. That's what I do. And I create friends, friends, you see, friends all around me, all around me, friends, all of them. And I even made another friend, the friend of a lonesome person just like me, a lonesome cowboy. And do you know why he's lonesome? Because he has no cows, that's why. I'll show you. Here's my lonesome cowboy. Be careful, cowboy, be careful. I've been out on the range far too long And this loneliness is driving me home I'm gonna pick up my saddle, say goodbye Friends have been created by these hands, you know. Oh, no, no, I have other friends, too. A special friend, Figaro. My cat, <laughs> I'll show it to you. Figaro! <laughs> Figaro, where are you? <laughs> Come, kitty, there you are. Come to Papa. Come, it's time for dinner. Oh, 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 your temper, your temper. Come, come, I want you to meet someone. Come, sit at the table. 
Oh, oh, come on, Figaro. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Sir, wait, 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 wait. I'll take La Belle Joël. Will you excuse us, please, madame? We have to have dinner. Oh, yes. Sit down, Figaro. Thank you, madame. Thank you. Now, there, you sit there, and I get you the food that you're going to be surprised. And your surprise is this. A fish, a fresh mackerel uh, that the fish mother gave to me this morning. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me see, you have a spoon under here? Here is a spoon. Good. No, 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 no. You say your grace first. Say your grace. Oh, no, 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 no. We must be thankful for the food that we have. Our daily food, because we never know when today or tomorrow we may not have that food. And that is why we must be grateful and thank. Ah, a little stew to keep the body warm. <laughs> you and I, Figaro, together, together, we shall have our meal. And then we'll see, first say our grace. Oh, dear. Uh, 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 you eat too fast. You eat too fast or you'll be the death of me. No, 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 no. You know, sometimes the toys I make do not turn out uh, quite the way I expect them to. This Jack in the Box, it seems to have a mind of its own. I keep working on it and working on it, but it still keeps popping up at the most unexpected moment. <laughs> right now. Hey, Geppetto, Geppetto, a little respect for, for, for the one who made you, eh? I would prefer Signor Geppetto. Oh, I'm sorry, Signor Geppetto. <laughs> I suppose I was a little brisk. A little brisk. A little brisk. I can't think of nothing better that I would like to do. Yes, do tell the story. Finally, finally, somebody wants to listen to me for a change. Go. Well, once upon a time. It's not an opening once upon a time. Go on. Well, well, once upon a time. Yes. There lived a mother goat and her seven children. Now, we all know that a baby goat is called a kid. And that is why this story is called The Wolf and the Seven Kids. There's the first one, and number two, three, number four, number five, number six, and... Uh-oh, I wonder what's happened to the littlest kid. Oh, there he is, hidden in the deep grass. The seven little kids were very happy in their home in the meadow and spent day after day playing follow the leader and other games. It was great fun, and the littlest kid did his best to keep up with his older brothers and sisters. But sometimes he had to take a shortcut or else lose the game. He might not have been a champion at follow the leader, but he always won when they played hide and go seek. He was the smallest and could easily hide behind a rock, a toadstool, or even in their mother's pots and pans. And he was still small enough to paddle around their swimming hole on a lily pad. Wow, doesn't that look like fun? And at night, the six older children all slept together in a big wooden bed. But the littlest kid still slept in a basket, tucked away in a corner beside his mother's old rocking chair. The days and nights passed quickly for the seven kids because they had plenty to eat, lots of time for play, and no school. They didn't seem to have a worry in the world. But one morning, this was all to change. The sun was shining brightly, and the meadow was aglow with wildflowers. And so the mother goat decided to go into the village to do some shopping. All right, children, I'll be back before dark. Just beware of one thing. We never know when that wicked wolf will come snooping around, so lock the door and don't open it for anyone. Okay! And so the mother goat set off for the village, confident that her children would obey her orders. But the mother goat wasn't the only one in the meadow that morning. She was being watched as she left by a very hungry fellow. <laughs> ah! 
I've been waiting a long time for this chance. <laughs> <laughs> Children, it's your mother. I came home early. Open the door for me, won't you? Uh, mommy, mommy, mommy. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, what's keeping you? Open the door. Hurry. Oh, no, you don't. You don't sound like our mother. You're the big bad wolf. Huh? <laughs> had heard that if you ate enough chalk, it would make your voice as smooth as baby powder. So he bought the biggest box he could find and quickly wolfed it down. But that's only for wolves now. Don't any of you ever try it because it will give you a terrible tummy ache. <laughs> Ooh, that just <laughs> It's your mother. was really angry now. So he went to the barn and stole some flour and began dusting himself. Huh? Children, it's your mother, and I've brought you all a present. Mother? It sounds like mommy. I brought you cookies and cake and delicious candies. The theater white. It is mother. But mommy! ran here and there trying to find a place to hide. But they were all too big, and the wolf would have no trouble finding them. In no time at all, that wicked wolf had swallowed the little kid. one go into that clock. Oh, let's see. There was one over there. There was two. There was three. There was four. There was five. I can't remember. <sighs> okay, once again. There was one. There was two. There was three. What time is it? Uh, uh, it's four o'clock. Uh, there was five. Uh, there was six. And there were seven, yeah. I got them all. They were delicious. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was really quick thinking by the littlest kid, wasn't it? Uh-oh. Here comes the mother goat. What will she think when she finds that the wolf has eaten six of her children? 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 Oh, children, children, mother. Children? Oh, thank goodness. The big bad wolf was here. <gasps> oh, no! I'd say hide-and-seek in the cool clock. Mama, there's the wolf. Hurry, bring the scissors and a needle and thread. Okay. And with a snip, 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 the mother goat had freed her children from the tummy of that wicked wolf. <laughs> the mother goat was overjoyed to have her children back, but she knew that that wicked wolf might wake up at any time. So she stuffed him with as many rocks as she could find and sewed him up tight. When the wolf awoke the next morning, his throat was still dry from eating all that chalk. So he staggered to his feet and went off for a drink at the well. 
And that was the end of the big bad wolf. After that, the seven little kids never had to worry about him again. Uh-oh, where'd that little fella go now? I'll bet he's playing hide-and-seek with us again. But we know where he's hiding, don't we? Well, child, what do you think? I think I want to go home. <gasps> go home? And what happened to running away? I guess I've run away enough. I guess maybe you have learned something. Maybe you've learned that your mind is a wonderful world and it's uh, too full of magic and curiosity and love ever to be lonely again, eh? I guess I did. You guess you did, huh? <laughs> come, come. You better be getting home now. Or your parents are going to be wondering where you are. Okay. Thank you, Senor Geppetto. You're very welcome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Your friend. You forgot your friend. <laughs> Your dear, dear friend. <laughs> Very good. Every night at closing time, a man appears, pulls down the blind, locks the door, and leaves that world behind.